Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. A lot of great stories in today's episode. All of those stories will be linked down below as always. Hope you guys are all enjoying our first story for all you North American fans out there. We had a Misfits miracle this past weekend for the North American minor. I'm sure many of you guys are aware of the first batch of teams that were actually on their way through. It does seem though, because the French Canadian team, that's Sabrosa's team, could actually not go to the minor due to visa issues for one of their members. They actually had a playoff match between Sore Gaming, Immortals, and Misfits. It was actually a playoff set of matches with the last match being a best of three. It went down to actually Misfits versus versus Team Immortals, and surprisingly enough, it was actually Misfits who beat them out in a best of three to make that last North American minor spot. I'll show you guys the eight final teams who are going through, and is this the final nail in the coffin is the final question here, because I'm sure you guys have actually seen that list, as well as SK Gaming already being in the next major. We also have other teams out there alongside Immortals, though, in the Brazilian scene, that being Tempo Storm, who also did not qualify, but Tempo Storm had a brand new Brazilian roster, so is this the final nail in the coffin for this? Because we are now seeing Immortals team has struggling more than ever, and actually approaching that level of struggle that Virtus Pro is on. We'll talk about Virtus Pro later. Their struggles have continued as well. But the real question is, is this the last step for Immortals? Have they finally degraded down to what we used to see? Of course, our past major. They shouldn't even be in this position right now if they didn't have those trio of players, Henny, Lucas, and KNG wanting to leave and be bought out. They wouldn't even have to be trying to qualify right now for this. But obviously, the new roster they have right now is not on any level near their old team as well. On top of that, guys, we had another Brazilian team also not qualified. That was Tempo Storm. That was very likely, though. That was a brand new Tempo Storm Brazilian roster. Besides that, though I'm sure you guys saw on the list there we did have two Brazilian teams still make the minor qualifier of course SK Gaming already in the major we did have two teams still go to the minor that was actually team one very surprisingly alongside them Luminosity Gaming and if you would have asked me six months ago would Immortals ever fall below the level of a Tempo Storm or LG or even a team one we had not even heard about back then I would say heck no you're crazy but we're now seeing it as we have finalized those North American minor teams and Immortals will not be a part of that also bouncing off that to other Brazilian news to SK Gaming to kind of lead off that guys Thanks to Decay, other people out there. Kind of the more obvious choice here. SK will be sticking out with Phelps because all the Brazilian players out there have actually tried to qualify for this major and try to go through the minor system. A lot of those available Brazilian players cannot actually play for SK Gaming. And of course, their best option right now will be Phelps. So they're probably going to stick it out with Phelps until the major. But for WESG, we could definitely see a stand in player. And WESG, the $1.5 million tournament, is actually in front of the major. It'll be played before that. That's in very, very early January. The major is after that. So we could see some stand in players for WESG. ESG, but Immortals or SK Gaming should stick it out with Phelps for the actual major event because that's probably their only option. Now, talking about this, that we had the WESG qualifiers going on all around the world. I told you guys last episode, this is actually one of the biggest tournaments we've seen. Every single year, WESG for the past two years has been a $1.5 million prize pool. And of course, for many teams out there that are all of one denomination, all the Brazilian teams, all the Polish teams, uh, many of the Swedish teams who have all players, they must be from the same country, but they generally play with the same lineup. Virtus Pro being one of those rare lineups, it should be a very easy qualifier. They don't have to use any stand-in players, any random players. They are all Polish, and they couldn't even make it out of the Polish qualifier. So here's the big news, guys, as Virtus Pro has potentially been eliminated from the Polish qualifiers for the WESG uh, tournament. If you guys don't know how this works, it goes through Polish qualifiers, then they go to the European finals, and the top four teams from there then go to the actual WESG tournament. And yes, Virtus Pro has somehow been stomped out by a team known as Venators. Actually, more development on the story that came out a couple hours ago. That team, Venators, played very well, actually went undefeated. They also two Pride Gaming, and it was apparently too good to be true, as one of their members from Venators allegedly had a separate account that actually had a VAC ban on it. So Virtus Pro has been bailed out, and they now have a second opportunity to make out a Polish qualifier. So if they are not one of the top two Polish teams in the world, I don't know what to tell you guys. They have to place top two here to actually make the European finals, and then the top four from the European finals actually go through the WESG. If Virtus Pro does not manage to qualify, even after a second chance, they are one of those teams out there who has had endless second chances, especially when it comes to ESL Pro League relegation, but they're going to face off against other teams. I'll show you guys a schedule of that. Virtus Pro has been offered a redemption. Can they actually step up to the plate and manage to qualify? But on top of that, one more thing I want to talk about is for these WESG qualifiers, it really begs the question. Many of you guys are aware of our major system. When we go down to the minors, a lot of those games are best of ones and allow for upsets. Also, they're not on land, so it allows for cheaters and some people to sneak through in those best of one matches. And this is the same thing for WESG we're seeing. Virtus Pro had to win their first three matches, all of which were best of ones. And that offers a lot of luck for other teams out there who could possibly have a cheater on there or sneak through in any other way. And so I really can't really blame Virtus Pro for, you know, of course we've seen this huge downfall of them, but you really can't blame them for this kind of thing. When you have to face off against three random teams you've never played before in a best of one matchup, that offers a lot of room for variability. But we're going to see guys later today if Virtus Pro can actually manage to qualify and pick it back up since they've been down these past few months. And a quick huge thank you to all of you guys who left comments on yesterday's video. Please do the same thing as of right now, guys. ASAP, leave a comment down below so I can actually reply to you guys. Tell me your favorite story. 
story. What do you guys think about that? I have plenty of time today to reply to comments, but please do it as soon as possible so I can reply to you guys down below. And also, big thanks to all of you guys who watch. Thanks to my sponsor, D Market. If you guys want to check them out, link is down below. And actually, this is one of the sponsors who checks how many people click on the link. So if you guys want to do me a favor, if you want to hear about more virtual marketplace stuff, and of course, the new emergence of cryptocurrencies out there, D Market is one of the lead dogs in that they've actually had a cryptocurrency out there or an ICO for several months now, and they're preparing to launch their new virtual cryptocurrency on D Market. So if you guys want to learn more about that, that'll be down below. And to give you guys kind of a background of this actual website and a very, you know, how, how official it actually is, one of the founders, the co-founder is actually the Navi founder as well, the founder of Navi and also a part taker in ES Force. Alongside that, the actual founder of this D Market is the owner of Skins.Cash. So a very popular guy and also does definitely knows what he's doing. And please leave a comment down below. I love learning new things. A lot of you guys left comments down below about cryptocurrencies and I, I learned a lot of new things uh, about this kind of stuff. So leave a comment down below. Check them out as well. And thanks to my sponsor. And very last in today's episode of CSK News, guys, I want to talk about Echo Fox. I'm sure many of you guys, if you are League of Legends fans, have heard about them in the past few days. Obviously, League of Legends launching a new league of its own for LCS teams and North American teams out there who want to buy their spots as a part of this league. And of course, it offers a whole new reason for investors to actually invest into these organizations. Echo Fox being one of the North American teams who has actually sought big, big investors out there. And the New York Yankees have now officially also uh, invested into Echo Fox. The big question now is, is it just for a League of Legends spot or will they also be using some of that money to also purchase a CSGO team? And that would be the former Immortals roster. Now, what's very controversial about this as well and would kind of make for a coincidence or kind of a very ironic situation as I'm sure many of you guys are aware of the rumors of Echo Fox buying out the Immortals players and in that same instance it's actually rumored as well by Jacob Wolf from ESPN that Echo Fox actually stole the last North American LCS spot for League of Legends from Team Immortals. So it seems that everything's going down for Immortals right now. We'll finalize that story in the next coming days. We're going to see if it actually happens. Will Echo Fox buy out the Brazilian guys? I sure hope so. That would be a crazy lineup to see in action. So hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSK News. I will see you guys all in two more days with some more CSK News. As always, leave a comment down below. Thanks to my sponsor, D Market, and I'll see you guys all next time. Remember, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you, and uh, goodbye.